Welcome back to Emergency Intercom. It's been a minute, y'all. I know. It's been a while since we've sat in these chairs. It's been a minute. It's been like a month and a half, almost two months since we've recorded all the episodes. Oh my God, it literally has been. Yeah, all the episodes y'all have been seeing have been stockpiled, loaded up, hence why my hair was long in the last episode. But the one before that, my hair was short. (laughs) Um, Well, yeah. How does it feel to be back in this chair? Like, you've been gone for so long. Are you different? Uh, It feels awful to be in this chair. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I thought you, like, maybe would express, like, joy and love for your craft or no, something. Absolutely not. Never that. Calling this a craft was a really brave statement I just made. Like, that um, was really crazy of me. <laughs> this is a craft. This is a career. Um, How about you? Are you are you excited to be back? Um, absolutely not. I'm dreadful. <laughs> no, actually, I'm so excited to talk because I've realized I talk so much, and that's like not a shocker to anyone on the planet. Mm-hmm. But I've just been so much more talkative. Like literally, any thought I have, I'm like, who can I text this to? Because I just haven't. And had it the hasn't been fucking me. Because this bitch, I'm not kidding. <laughs> ignored me the entire month we were gone, and I'm glad I well, get. Well, because I wanted to get our. I wanted to get our. Um, our tension going. It no. was like there was, I was building uh-uh. longing and yearning no, with you. No, 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 You just ignored but, me for But you month. can't deny that when I got back, I went into your room to say hello and we had nasty, dirty, hot sex because yeah, we hadn't spoken for so long. So, But I would like to speak. It wasn't uh, complaints when I was finger blasting you. Um, okay, well, let's get into the episode, shall we? Because <laughs> I have a Switch cartridge and Inya hasn't done the eat the Nintendo Switch cartridge challenge <laughs> That's like yet. not a thing. I don't know why you keep saying it. Just try it. Were people actually eating this? Because why do I feel like that actually happened? Like just, a few kids ate this. Just try it. Lick it. I'm not licking just your please, cartridge. Please, 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 please. No, please, you Inya. lick it. I'll lick it. It tastes good. Like, <laughs> mm. Why do you do it like? I didn't hide it. Okay. I, well, you I didn't. don't want like, but I did it. Lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I already Lick said it. I, I already did. Well, I don't want like on like video like there. Bro, that tastes like fucking acetone and butt. That's what I'm saying. It's like the Nintendo Switch. Did, cartridge. Do they like coat it in that yes, so kids don't eat it? it? In bitter, they coat it in bitter shit. So when the kids put it in their mouth, they spit Wait, it out. Wait, give it to me because oh, now, now, that's now crazy. you want to play the challenge. <laughs> now you want to do the challenge. Yeah, I want to lick the metal part. I doubt the metal tastes bad. No, the metal tastes. Oh no, it, it tastes really bad actually. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. Yeah, I feel like I saw when Switches were like first coming out that kids were like eating the cartridge. It's definitely because kids were eating DS cartridges, um, for sure. And I wasn't one of those kids. Like that. <laughs> yeah, had you a definitely Nintendo... don't have like fragments of cooking mama I, or sitting I was in your say, stomach. Nintendo dogs isn't sitting in my colon right now. <laughs> um my Nintendo dogs died inside of my body. <laughs> um, should I tell you the story I've been holding out? Yeah. Okay. So me and Orion were on our world tour, Europe extravaganza, and we would go to the beach every Why would a man be there? Why would a man be there? Ew, I hate how loud. One, I hate how loud your voice can get. Two, I hate myself. Because, like, no one knows the pain of hearing yourself, like, while you're trying to. While I'm trying to disassociate and fall down a rabbit hole of nothingness on TikTok, to hear my own voice <laughs> is the most, like... But it's not the first time because I'm really famous. So I was like, gonna say like it's it's really hard for me too to hear my voice and be scrolling on my feed and see myself pop up like I'm like oh uh, not again me like, as if I didn't fully like an edit of myself like three days oh, ago. Oh no, I literally go through <laughs> the emergency intercom. I search up emergency intercom on TikTok and like every single video on there just so it boosts the algorithm. You're like, so annoying. I'm like, the girls need to see this. You, so, you use the bathroom and like leave it playing like on loop so exactly. it's to wrap up views. No, literally, exactly. We actually have a bunch of iPhones in the house. Like, you know, in Target when they have the iPhones on the little thing, mm-hmm. we have like eight of them in the living room and then we just like do the accessibility like auto scroll thing and we have it going through every like few minutes you know the emerge or the uh pokemon go player bikes that have like the big wall of uh 
like no, I iPhone don't, screens. And I oh, never needed to know that I'm that existed because that's it's, fucked up. It's the craziest thing you'll ever see. It's like basically they do it. Um, Pokemon Go bike phones. Um, it, they do I don't it know why because that actually just disgusted me. It's it's a crazy. It is the most dystopian shit you'll ever see in your life. Hold on. Um, but they do it so they can like walk a bunch and hatch a bunch of eggs at once. Oh, uh, it's sweet that it's an old man though. Exactly. Like it's so cute. It, it, like it but undid the ick of it's it. It's crazy. There's like a bunch of people that do it. Dude, he's actually fucking fire. What he should do is start a streaming business where he boosts the streams on these flop ass bitches accounts. That's the one thing that I don't believe. I believe in the dead internet theory that uh, there's no way I love Selena Gomez like she's the girl like but there's no way her music is streamed that much I do not hear it anywhere the weekend like yeah, maybe but I still think they're like buying streams from stream farms to boost their streams So when I see it, I'm like, oh my god, she has 90 million monthly listeners Ooh, maybe I need to tap into that same with like the Kardashians everyone like how the fuck does Jimmy Kimmel have like 80 billion followers on Instagram there's no way he gets, has followers like that yeah, but he only gets like a thousand likes and 10,000 views on his videos on IG like dead internet theory is real like we're just all interacting with really advanced bots at this point and like we're probably not talking to anyone we're talking to AI like robots like that are borderline sentient you were actually schizophrenic. No, look up at the dead internet theory. I swear to God, it's a real thing. <laughs> like it's it, that's just for, that was your Drew Psyop corner. Uh, oh no, I have I got a whole bunch of shit to do in it. Look at this. Look at all these. Are those all like Psyop corner things uh, or oh that's just like your this your notes. This on to there is Psyop. So I got like four episodes worth written down and I did it all on the airplane and I look like a like a real psycho, <laughs> like a real psycho. Well, uh, what's the story? Um, So we would go to the beach every day and just lay out and rot in the sun because it's all we wanted to do. Did y'all play with each other's pussies at all? Or? Um, Yeah, lots of tripping happened for okay. sure. <laughs> and like me and Orion went to Europe and we were like this, but we came back like this. Oh, and it was actually wow. a problem when we were getting on the plane. We were like this and they had to like How pull do you us even apart. Sit? You buy four chairs? Um, yeah, across? we bought a whole row oh, so wow. we could just like lay and then we would buckle like over our hips mm. and then our heads, like Birthing our Birthing hips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow you have really fertile hips like you have really nice birthing hips i'm um, gonna start saying that to people you shouldn't um you had a nice like just womanly body oh my god your hourglass figure is shining through that skims dress right now you look mm -hmm. gorgeous that's what you should comment on somebody's ig post take her swimming on the first date because not only do they have makeup now but they got skim suits skims by you know the but what like if you could have a skims bathing suit is that what you mean or you no, mean like take that shit off oh because you're saying like it's fake mm -hmm. yeah okay um i'm just telling the truth like i'm <laughs> i'm i spit i spill also sorry keep going I, no wait what were you i was saying? gonna say like the video of being like dude it's crazy to see this video of this kid that and he grew up to be a cult leader oh yeah and like all the comments are like who the fuck is this and why is he a cult leader there's been a lot of videos going viral of me recently of me like being like a homeless person in the back of madeline and steven's videos and like it just reaches <laughs> the side of the internet that people have no idea and people like, actually think you're like a yeah, serial the killer, killer they literally think think i'm the killer and that is like my ultimate dream and then when they actually find the bodies in central park it's gonna be like dude it wasn't a joke cut that shit out <laughs> cut that out <laughs> okay so we would go to this beach all the time and in europe it's like not like naughty to take your top off at the beach fuck bro why didn't i get to go man i didn't <laughs> see all the boobs on the beach but that's why I didn't go see Barbie, because there was no tits in the movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they showed some puss, I would have been yeah, front row. Yeah, like, hello, Barbie. Like, Mattel, like, step up your fucking puss. Oh, you want to talk about, tits. like, showing, like, people for who they really are, and it's supposed to be the sentimental, like, human experience of a Barbie movie, but where is the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> we've said the p word like 18 times already. i know it's probably the most we've ever said it in an episode yeah. but actually this uh, this story does have to do with my coochie mm. but i i was not about to say my p word um <laughs> but 
So we went to this beach every day that we were there and we went to it every day last year. And while we were walking down this hill, we realized this shit was a glitch. I'm not kidding. It was a glitch in the system because we oh, wow. never saw. Now I'm listening. I know. We never saw this like open way of the railing because it's like a long road down a mountain that you have to walk down. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk. And we never saw this opening in the railing, but as we're walking this time, we notice it and we look over and Orion's like, we should go down there to see what there is because we always look over the edge and we're like, damn, there's a bunch of boats right. out there. And y'all are always... entering the old beach. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. And we always talk about how we wish we could rent a boat to go like out on the water or be in a really secluded area. The beach isn't that busy. It's a pretty secluded beach anyways, but that area is so secluded because there's like two houses that have beach space, whatever. We go down there one day and we're like, this is awesome. We need to come back here tomorrow because we were high as fuck and we wanted to eat really bad and we didn't want to have to do a trek back and forth. That's pointless. Next day, we go down there and we're all alone. So I'm just... Like, okay, I'm going to just get butt naked. Like, no one is here. We're fully, like, covered by rocks. Um, And I'm just like, oh, okay. So we're, like, laying there topless. And then I just was like, I, I have not been naked this Butter whole Bronson time. Up. Butter, Butter Bronson. Up. Like, what's his face in that sky? Is it your butt or your Bronson? Oh, it's my Bronson. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. my Bronson. My <laughs> So you're laying on your back. My extremely pale Bronson is shining <laughs> in the sun right now. And whatever. I, it's like not crazy. I didn't take off my whole bathing suit, but it was a tie one. So I just like opened it up. And then I was like, oh, if somebody, if I see somebody in the corner of my eye coming, I'll just like tie it back up. Whatever. I am not somebody who's like, oh my God, someone's going to see me naked. I, I literally don't care. Also, that is actually a big issue that I need to take care of because I'll tell the other part of this story. But I, this is a big issue I have, and I do it when I feel like I'm supposed to be in danger. I, I'm really stubborn, so if somebody is giving me a dangerous vibe, I won't immediately walk away from the situation yeah. because I am so stubborn Your that I'm pride. like, oh, you think you're going to fucking yeah. scare me, bitch? Try and stab me. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to stand here. I don't care. Yeah. And that's basically what I did in this situation. We're laying there, and this man starts coming down the steps, and I didn't notice him until he got close, and he just, like... Obviously, I had been getting, like, we got pervy stares, like, the whole week because we're just two girls with our fucking Dude, tits out. Like, I was, like, walking around just looking at I know, you. and Drew kept coming by in different disguises, and we were like, you literally don't have to do that. You could just look. And he was like, oh, I'm just, like, I'm not Drew. Exactly. Um, but he, the way it was is we were laying out on these rocks, and then there was a rock right in front of us, and he literally, he, this man comes up and stands there and is, like, looking out at the water, but then, like... <laughs> <laughs> like looking down Side and I was just like oh my god so I like slowly start getting dressed because I was doing the thing where I was like oh you think you're gonna scare me like you think I give a fuck if you see me naked like I don't give a fuck and then but th that didn't work out for me because he took it as like oh, okay so then he just starts glaring down at me and then I was like okay so I start slowly putting all my stuff back on I don't think anything of it and then I literally said to Orion also it's how in, old was he he had to have been like 43 or something. Pervert. So yeah. He, if, it, it was, it was like, if it was like a 70 year old yeah, man, that, I'd be like, okay, That is like, my thing. That yeah. is literally my thing because also at the restaurant on this beach, there's an old man who has to be like 68 who works there. Give him a show. And without, without a doubt, every time we ate there, he would be taking my order. Uh, me when I'm like, I'm not going to be loud this episode. I'm <laughs> no, like, no, I just noticed it. Mine's really loud too. But, Without a doubt, every single time we ordered at that restaurant, it, we would be coming from the beach, so I would just have a bikini top on and then, like, pants or something. Give him a show. He, yeah, he literally would be, like, like <laughs> he'd, look at he'd be like, waiting. No, he would be, like... <laughs> Like, and he, he like, literally, my boobs Dude, were, like, the magnets. Like, he would be taking my order and be, like... <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but our eyes are going up and, and down. Like, he, and he's a little shorter than me somehow, so he would literally be, like... <laughs> Like his head was like like being dragged down by my boobs. Right, but it's a short guy summer. No, the fuck it is. Short not. guys are winning this year. <laughs> I'm like, no, the fuck it is not. I've never had sex with someone taller than me. Um, but that's besides the point. Actually, one I or no, I've, literally every single person. I feel like they're all short. They all really? have like short vibes. Really, they all got that short vibe. Um, but we'll finish this story in another episode. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I saw a video where someone was like, this is me when they say they'll show a picture, like, and they never put it up on the screen. I know, and it's then really bad. The well, okay, actually, other one where it's like, we'll talk about it in another episode, and we literally never do. Well, um, we will insert the paparazzi one here. Yeah. Just in the middle of this story, we'll insert the paparazzi one. Here's footage. the paparazzi video. That's the paparazzi video we've been talking about um, for months. <laughs> Um, and we just never, we forgot to put it in there, but people in the comments were like, I want that video so bad. So there it is. And we'll finish the story in the next episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, but okay, so whatever, I slowly get dressed and then I'm like, me and Orion, we're already planning on moving because for some reason there was hella flies in that area anyway. And we kept like almost stinky knocking Bronsons. out. Yeah, it's because my stinky cooter Bronson yeah. was out. Um, so we were like, let's just go to the actual beach. Cause also this man is here now. So we get up and we start going up the steps and he disappears down into the rocks and there's a bunch of boats docked in the area, which I only assume there's this boat that goes around and you can get taken to your boat, like whatever. So this man disappears down the rocks and as we're going up, I like look around because I'm like, okay, he didn't exist. We just made that up. But I see him swimming towards a boat. Oh, hell and no. And he's like, me and Orion stopped to stare because we were like, wait, what the fuck is happening? Is that his boat? And then I was making the joke to Orion. I was like, damn, I'll let him see me naked some more if I go get on that boat. Like, yeah. if I get to get on the boat, I'll let him look at me naked all day. Bro, that was literally David Hasselhoff and he was swimming like <laughs> David Hasselhoff and SpongeBob, literally. like fast as fuck chasing y'all. Um, so he gets on his boat, and when he's on his boat, he sees us staring at him, and he looks at me. I never interact with perverts, and I, like, me and Orion had just been joking that we I would let him see me naked if I got on the boat. And so I, like, look at him, and I, like, waved. I don't know Stop. why I waved. So I waved at him, and me and Orion just start laughing, and we go up. I can't. So listen this is to this. Crazy. Now we're walking down this road, and we hear, like, an engine revving up. So we think a car is coming and we kind of step to the side and we look out into the water. And then we start hearing really loud, like Europeans play this kind of English music that it's what they think Americans listen to. It's like weird electronic EDM-ish AI voice where it's like, we're gonna party tonight. Hmm. <laughs> like, 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 do, 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 like random ass you music. You thought y'all would get real So we bad that heard thing. that kind of music and an engine revving and I look over and Modern day siren. Fully. <laughs> <laughs> like luring you up by with the EDM to he, kill you. He is fully following us down to the oh, beach. Oh hell no! And, well, first of all, I didn't even know. Are y'all walking or are y'all on a boat? We're walking. I didn't even know you could cruise control a boat like this. Like I didn't know he could go at our pace. So. I look over and we start cracking up. I'm like, oh my fucking God, he's following us. I shouldn't have fucking waved. Oh my God. And I'm freaking out and we're walking down and there's like two houses. And I was like, Orion, Orion, when we get to that fucking thing, hide, hide. Like we need to hide oh from him. God. And he's following us. We hide and we stay there for like two minutes and we are cracking up. We like pull out our towels and like cover our faces and our bodies because we're like, maybe he'll just like think we like went into this house. And then we keep walking and he literally, I don't know how, he knew when we were walking. So he starts speeding up again. <sighs> Bitch. He kept following us and Orion was like, yeah, bitch, you were talking all that shit. You were going to see you naked and now he's going to stab and kill us. And then me and Orion were like, okay, wait, wait. Maybe there's a chance he's nice, though. Like, maybe there's a chance he's, like, just a, like, a looky pervert and not crazy. Y'all are playing too much like, game. We, we, like, we, <laughs> we were like, maybe he's nice because also this was, like, the day after we hung out in Lisbon. And for the first time ever, we met. Lesbian. A straight. Yeah, we, well, come on. Like. We There's a close. whole city I called said, Lesbian? Yes, and I said we got close. Where do you think we got close? Is that... That's Greta Thunberg, huh? That's where she's from. Lesbian, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, are you saying she's a lesbian or she's from lesbian? No, no, no. There's like that picture of her saying lesbian or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to lesbian. <laughs> um, but w whatever. The night before we had hung out in Lisbon and we met for the first time ever the least like not the first time ever but the least threatening straight man on the planet and it was such an enjoyable I'm right here oh you're what I'm right here what does that mean though least threatening straight man on the planet like I like bonbons and bronsons and shit but like I'm not gonna oh fucking... bonbons or boobs <laughs> yeah I like bonbons and bronsons and butts but like I'm not gonna like be I scary can touch about them it. and shit. Yeah. Without people Have you asking. ever touched them in general? Yeah. Sand, okay. Like sandbags and shit. 
Okay, Triple I'll, beam. I'll wrap this story up because it's going on too long. Anyway, so we're like, for some reason, we're also just kind of hungover and like being stupid. And we're like, maybe like he's like chill. Maybe it's not even that big of a deal because we want to get on a boat that fucking bad, I guess. And then we keep walking. And so we walk down and there's a dock and then this restaurant. He stops at the dock and I was like, Orion, speed the fuck up because he's going to get out and talk to us. And Orion was like, wait, I kind of, we need to interact with him if he comes to talk to us. And I was like, okay, true. But he doesn't come to talk to us. So we keep walking. Bitch, tell me why he picked up two other men and kept following us oh, down to the beach man. and me and Orion were like oh my god we're literally fucking like there's too many of them like we're gonna get killed we're gonna get kidnapped freaking out all for us to get to the beach and then there's a point where the boats can't go because it's people swimming in the water and he turned around and then I was like come back oh my god <laughs> I was like my munch come back like you were willing to like get out and like swim over to talk to me like oh my fucking god like you're literally not a real nah, man you're playing um, games and that was the whole story of me interacting with a pervert and then actually being fearful for like 20 minutes because I genuinely thought I was gonna get me and my friend killed because I waved um and that's it but it's good to know that all it takes is somebody seeing me butt naked nasty for like three seconds for them to literally swim to their boat and start chasing me Mm. Um, which actually, now that I've said that whole sentence, I don't know if that's like a good thing to know. I think that's like, sadly, kind of common. Um, well, I don't remember what I was going to say to you that I told Josh and, um, Josiah when you left to go to that dinner. Yeah. Fuck, what was it? Oh my God. Um, boy, I went to Missouri. That was lit. It was a good vibe. Um, I got to hang out with my family. I got the ride horses again um and yeah it was cool what the fuck happened what was it oh i know what it is okay so you know how like it's a running joke that like i don't think i'm related to my parents like something fishy is going on yeah. like either my mom like had a baby with another man and my dad was okay with it or my dad isn't my real dad or my mom we got switched in the hospital like whatever the case is like I look like my mom. Like I saw a picture of me and I look like my mom. So I'm my mom's kid, but the more I look, I don't look anything like my father, which is very curious. And then so we uh, got uh, DNA test kits and tell me why my mom and dad were like shaking in their fucking boots when we got these DNA test kits. Like they were like curious, they were like flashing their eyes and all this like weird shit. And like my mom brought it up at the dinner table like four hours later and we didn't even like freaking bring it up like we forgot about it and there's some sus shit going on like so y'all i'm about to find out that my father is not my father but he knew the whole time and raised me anyways i mean at the end of the day like he's my dad like he yeah. raised me like that's my father but, but it's but definitely like, gonna cause a ripple effect and you'll never look at him the same exactly really exactly exactly involved. exactly um but no i told me and madeline made a pact like if we find out he's not my dad we're not gonna say anything we're just gonna be like <laughs> yeah you're our dad like <laughs> but we're gonna know we're so gonna you're gonna know. lie yeah exactly wow um but uh the crazy easiest part is so my dead brother sam he did 23 and me yeah he died and yeah oh my fucking god um bro he died wow. like three years I'm ago i'm sorry for your loss <laughs> he died three <laughs> years ago bro um but no he did a 23 and me test and madeline did a 23 and me test and if you're related like your dna code if it's similar oh, it enough come back. it yeah. comes back and it's like oh by the way y'all are like brother and sister or y'all are related theirs didn't show up as related to one another which is very fucking curious because that's how it all starts on all those weird documentaries about like all the people like being like oh wait i have like 380 brothers i almost was like do you think because he's like not here anymore they just like don't connect it but that's not how that works <laughs> no, like, it's no. literally ancestry it, like it's supposed to be like everybody. exactly so it's very curious so i'm like and my, same as my dad's child so I don't know, mom. I know you're listening to this and you're writhing and you're pissed and you're scared as boots. But you're like, scared because your secret's about to come out. Yeah, exactly. You're about to find out the real you. Exactly. Um, but like, this is the tea, and I'm gonna update the girls as it goes. Um, you did something that reminded me of like an ick just now, or it was last night. Oh wait, last night something happened. I was like, oh, pl watching somebody play on Oculus would be such an oh, ick, ew. and I would never never be able to like look date at someone, someone. The same. Yeah, yeah literally i would like not be able to date somebody if i saw them play with an oculus like it's too much and then like even oh. the thought of the way i look playing an oculus i'm like it's all i think about when i did play. you get a video of me playing 
No, but Tavia did. So uh, we should insert it. We should it. ask Tavia. We should insert it if we remember. Yeah, because that shit. Yeah, I mean, it's fun as fuck, but also it's weird. Like, it's just weird shit. But do you have any other turnoffs? Yeah. So if you can't drive, you need to get a life. Like, that is actually disgusting. Like, if you can't drive and if you drive slow. If you can't drive and you drive really slow and cautious, that shit actually pisses me off. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, why are you actually doing 35 miles an hour in a 35 Not lane? you being like, ableist, ageist. No, I not. <laughs> <laughs> 21. No, I not. 21. Um, 21. Any trip or fall. Any <laughs> trip or fall. Like, even, like, but especially, like, a trip where, like, the trip doesn't actually happen. And you're like, oh. And you're like, oh, oh, my God. Like, that. Like, yeah. That is too much. Dude, like, I know exactly like what you mean. Like, almost losing your balance and be like, oh, oh, my God. I almost sure? fell. Yeah. Like, oh, I almost fell. Really? You shouldn't say that. Don't do you that. You should have just fallen because I would have felt bad. Cramped feet so you get a little bit of a limp that's disgusting oh, like okay. if you're like if you're like oh my feet are cramping like i can't like i uh ow, who the like, fuck do you know that's feet are cramping regularly <laughs> i know people with my fucking foot feet. when i actually that brings i've me... never had a cramped foot too so i'm like one you're making it up two dude you know why are you like barely able to stand right now when like, i was like nine um there was a doorknob right next to my bed and i used to like put my butt on the doorknob and just like use it as a butt plug and just like hang out up there um no i used to wrap my <laughs> oh. foot <laughs> why did you even say that i don't, I don't know because i used to wrap my foot around the doorknob and cramp my foot on purpose because i love the way foot cramps feel I, and I still, every once in a while, will, like, arch my foot um, like that, like a ballerina. I've never and had cramp a foot cramp. I bet if you do it like that. I'm very hydrated, and I've been drinking a lot of electrolytes, so it doesn't happen as often. But when I was, like, younger and didn't drink water and only drank Coke and did Coke when I was, like, 13. Um, yeah, I, you st I mean, you problem. started when you were 10, so it's hard to, like, yeah, stop doing Coke. Yeah, this is a fake nose. It melted through my, uh, what is it, septum? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really rough. But, yeah. Have you ever had your toe sucked? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because it seems like you're forgetting that I suck yeah, your toes, like, all the time. So exactly. I was, like, offended. And then I was, like, what, you don't want the people to know that, like, I put your toes in my mouth? Oh, dude, also, like, ew, no, no, that's too much. My mom, mom, if you're listening, like, literally <laughs> turn this off now. Um, But when they, when it was, like, one time <laughs> and my big toe was being sucked and, like, Oh God, this is so embarrassing. No, I, I can't even talk. I can't even talk about it. I can't even talk. I've about had it. my toes in mouth, in mouths like plenty of times. People love my feet. What can I say? Uh, I have a high rating on Wiki Feet, bro. I got a I fucking even, one point eight nine. I don't even have like a good photo of my feet out let's, there. Let's That's check. the crazy thing is, I, if I put a good photo of my feet on the internet, it would be a wrap. It would be really bad for a lot of people. It would break homes. It would destroy people. Like it would literally make the people who fuck with feet like okay. actually viscerally upset that they can't suck my toes. I got a two point three nine now. Well, that's because you a, begged. You no. like begged for people to go and give you good reviews. But what people didn't know about me is I have a size twenty point five foot in <laughs> US and I'm from Estonia. <laughs> um but oh, okay. Mine. mine are if anyone is like my age like that's weird like you should be three times my age i have like at a least. four and a half and like i said that's without a good picture of my feet like no one's seen like a good picture of my feet see but you said in anyone our age um it my turn off is if you're my age you have to be at least twice my age <laughs> um and then like if you have like long hair like big birthing hips like piercings and you wear makeup and like those things that are on people's chest sometimes like and if you the have boobs? a vagina yeah oh yeah. so you just like want to like uh, and, wait wait you wait we're talking about turnoffs yeah that's a big turn off of mine wait, but i thought you were straight so like boobs should be like a thing for you and then if you like take care of yourself oh that's gross yeah. i'm just confused because it sounds like i thought for a second you were talking about like turn ons like things you want from no a no no you don't want any of that. It's just those things on the chest that get in the way and they're scary. I just think men are really gross. <laughs> That's kind of it. That's like kind of it. Um, well, oh, my new thing. 
Guys, I have a Ew, new thing. Ew, the idea of a man propping up his phone to dance in front of it actually just like I, just <laughs> I saw you. I that. saw like, you. I just imagine that like when girls are like playing music from their phone and they're together like dancing in a room. I'm like, do do the po 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 po. Do you mean that one? No, the little Uzi. Oh, po 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 po. I can't really do that one. I thought you meant. Boo, 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 boo. Um, no, that is really cringy. Um, my new thing recently. I've has... never liked a thirst trap from a man. Okay, keep going. Neither have I. The fuck. <laughs> 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 the fuck, like, couldn't be me. My new thing is me having blood clots. I'm convinced I'm going to have like a pulmonary embolism. For somebody who goes to the doctor a lot, it seems like you don't go to the doctor. And now I'm starting to get convinced that you use that one app to meet all your friends and like go hang out with friends instead of go to the doctor. Yeah. So and I don't mean grinder grinder is like ZocDoc. So like when you say it's like ZocDoc, but for I don't pastors. think we have a ZocDoc ad. So we're going to stop saying it. <laughs> um I, even though i i genuinely do use it but okay more <laughs> um yeah it's like grinder but uh or grinder is like zocdoc with pastors and um doctors oh okay so when i use it i, I go didn't know you were religious doctor. like that though yeah i've like been i've been dabbling recently uh, but my new thing is blood clots and I, what are you gonna say it was completely different. Were you so say? keep going. No, you I, keep going. I was gonna say weddings are freaking me out again because why is your dad passing you down the aisle like a blunt? Like you're literally getting passed like a blunt to another man. Like it's really weird. Yeah. It's really weird too because like I was watching a video and I was like, the connotations of this are odd because it's like your dad needs to hand you off to another man, which insinuates that your dad owned you and like had you as his and then is giving you to another man, which makes me so uncomfortable because it's like, wait, are you fucking your dad? I need to know. Um, but that's it. That's oh my it. god. No, it's just like a cute thing. I don't think it's, it's cute. I think ceremony. it's really fucking weird. Um, um, I'm different. I'm gonna have my happy. mom pass me down the aisle. Let people be happy, girl. Because I um I'm having sex with my mom and your mom. Actually I'm gonna have right, your mom. How is that urn, that how is that urn gonna walk down? <laughs> girl, how, how the hell is that? Well, we're going to put it on, like, you know the the robot waiters at, like, restaurants? Oh, yeah. We're going to put the urn on there, oh, and I'm going to hold the, 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 the teacher's <laughs> cart when they roll the TV in. <laughs> when they roll it out the projector, it's, like, yeah. my mom on there. Someone yeah. said when the teachers used to roll the carts in, they used to be, like, hungover, and that's why, like, they would bring the carts in. That makes sense. Right? Bitch, I would have never taught those kids. Because all of our teachers... Because I'd be like, hungover all the time because I have a really severe alcohol and weed addiction right yeah. now. We keep going. Um, but my new thing is uh, blood clots. I'm convinced that I have blood clots in my body all the time, and um, it's all gonna it's gonna be clipped a million billion times when like it comes out that you when actually I do. do die of a blood clot and I got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine Can as you, a like, joke. No, if you have a blood clot before it's bad. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think like it it gets bad and then it gets worse so when it gets bad that's when you know you know yeah so like this dude when like, you know you know if you knew better um but this yeah that's just something it's a song that, that I'm wasn't the out. song i was singing. i was yeah it's my own song that I'm oh okay singing. yeah so and you just thought to like outshine me and like throw in your own song. and let's survey the audience who ate better <laughs> me or indian <laughs> who ate better guys i've been like really addicted to pokemon go in like a fucked up way like a two hours every single day type shit um and i'm gonna do a raid in the middle of okay, this while you do a raid i'm gonna say this thought i had um so i think there's like this idea that when women get older there there's more leeway for them to be mean and as a younger woman there's this idea that you should be gentle nice and patient and super forthcoming and submissive especially around men obviously and you shouldn't be loud and whatever whatever but yeah it exactly. is always except yeah all that is like no weird. like you you agree with it or you yeah like be silent and shit women should be or i don't know can you go back to playing fucking pokemon go and yeah, shut the fuck sorry, up? yeah exactly um but there's this idea <laughs> that when ladies get old like the mean old old lady like archetype it's like oh like She's, like, mean and annoying and, like, really naggy and blah, blah, blah. And, like, as women get older, there's almost more leeway and acceptance and almost 
an assumption that with age you will get obnoxious and annoying and this only was something i was thinking about because of the fucking age filter and all the jokes about like oh when i'm older and i just start yelling at people because i can which i'm sure like most people like i everybody thinks like as you get older you get to do that but my hot take which isn't that hot of a take is i think it's more acceptable for women as they age out to be annoying like i'm saying that with quotes if you're not watching annoying or angry or whatever because you are less sexualized and less objectified the older you get Mm. so there's no need for you to be as submissive or as like tranquil and blah blah blah, and like as nice and all those things because you are less desired by the public so nobody's gonna get on your ass for being like all those things yeah and as a younger woman you're expected to be all those things because you need to upkeep a sexual appeal and a desire to yourself and that's just something i thought about no, and it's not necessarily that's funny fucking tea. But- yeah. Um. And now we're gonna sit here while Drew. We'll we'll just time lapse this. Sorry, is this is like really important actually to me. Um. Okay. Like I didn't ask. If it's important to you, that means it means nothing to me. How about that? I'm used to this behavior. I left my phone at home yesterday, y'all, all day long. Um. And I like survived and it was fucking lit i could survive too it's fucking easy dude it's not a fucking competition bro. i'm just saying like if you think you could survive you would literally feel like you were watching survivor or watching me survive i did it i beat did him you win? i win um, i won i got a reggie drago and it's, it's probably brave of me to make fun of you for being obsessed with pokemon go as if i haven't been on a two-year streak of being obsessed with fortnite damn it's already been two years yeah Holy. And I don't foresee it ending. What if I'm like 38 and I'm still playing Fortnite? <laughs> that would be fucking I'm probably going to neglect the fuck out of my kids. Like, yeah. I definitely shouldn't have kids. No, as... that's, that's my take too. But actually, like, I genuinely don't think I'm supposed to have kids. The more I think about it, I think you should have kids if it is a deep, deep desire. And when I do have kids, if this is still up for some godforsaken reason and they hear it or somebody who remembers me saying this is like oh my god that bitch is pregnant they're gonna really freak out and be scared and maybe i will change my mind but i am so flip-flop on the idea of having a kid that i just don't think i should have a kid does that make sense like yeah i think people by our age know whether they want kids or not but we are very young so maybe that'll change but like i just don't want a fucking kid like my parents had kids by this age yeah which is so fucking weird disgusting like i i cannot imagine i cannot imagine having a child right now like really genuinely cannot imagine it it like goes straight over my head and like beyond that like there are moments like especially after hanging out with my niece like uh madeline like luna like that i'm like oh like i can see myself having children one day like I don't know. Like, I don't, I really don't know if it's in my cards. Like, same. That's how I feel when I see other people my age with kids. It is sweet and wholesome and heartwarming. But then when I imagine myself with a kid, I genuinely don't want that. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Like, thinking about being 35 and not being able to pick up and leave my house without taking this thing with me, I'm like, damn, that is actually so inconvenient. Yeah. And I guess, like, it just clicks one day like and and maybe it's like fucking love where like you have to like actually try um to be in a relationship and like it's it's chemical to a certain extent but, i've definitely like, been in relationships or like in situations where there were moments where i was like now i understand now i understand why someone would have a kid with somebody because yeah. i have this like primal human urge to have a child but then that usually wears off and i'm like whoa and i think that's probably what most parents did is within that time span of having that primal urge because they didn't have TikTok and all these other things to look at. Mm. They were like, fuck it, we should just have a baby because I really want to have a baby with and you. I'm bored. And then that phase of like desire and whatever fades off and then you're left with a fucking baby. That's like, like what a damn. lot of people like postpartum or like just in general, like a lot of uh, people like experience postpartum after birth and it's because of that. It's like, holy shit. Like, I actually have. I this. used to party and I used to have fun and I used to be able to do whatever the fuck I want and blah, 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 blah. And now I have to like give all that up overnight, essentially. Like it's, it's crazy. I, I fully understand postpartum and it like 
really makes me sad. Um, but you could just give it away. Yeah, for real. There's like systems for it. For real. So if you don't want it, you could just fucking get rid of it, I guess. You um, could sell it to Wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> and then use that check to go buy yourself a latte. Exactly. Have to think about that. Um, do y'all remember the Wayfair child trafficking? <laughs> yeah. Um, that was crazy. Dude, that, that was... was actually that was the first sign that like left leaning people are also susceptible to conspiracy theories. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, if you make the conspiracy, if you like make it right, a conspiracy theory can hit anybody. Mm-hmm. Cause the, uh, there was a moment where I was like, "Holy shit! Like that is weird. Like why are they selling a twenty five thousand dollar dresser?" But come on, it's also come on. like I don't think Wayfair is real. I think it's like a like who would buy a twenty five thousand dollar dresser? Like I think it's like on eBay. Like I could post something for a crazy amount of money and just see who bites. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Remember when I put my grandma on eBay? Yeah, now you don't have a fucking eBay account because yeah. you tried to sell a human. It's on. crazy. I like got like IP banned or some shit from eBay because I tried to sell my grandma on there for a video. Um, and it, 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 the bid got up to like, what was it? Like $36,000 yeah. or something like that um, to buy my grandma. And then I got banned from eBay. That's a good price. Yeah, right? Yeah, $36,000. That's life-changing money. Yeah. Like, hello. But I guess, wait, it doesn't go to the person who's being sold, so... Yeah, exactly. It would go to you. So exactly. I guess your grandma. But if your grandma's going to good hands, you know. She'll have a good time. Yeah. Like, she'll be chill. Like, they'll take care of her. She'll start a new chapter. And it might be a blessing to, at exactly. that stage in your life, get to, like, start exactly. Um. Okay. Well, I have a list of things that, like, we're doing now that, like, I feel like are going to be really, really barbaric in the future. And, like, I was trying to be funny, but I literally couldn't think of anything funny. So if you think of anything actually funny, let me know. But these are like... Um, my barbaric thing is having my wing bot under girl, my pillow and abusing the oh, fuck Oh, hell no. Literally, I walked in there because Inya was like, I lost I a lo- pendant. I did lose And I was my like necklace. helping her look for it. And I flipped over a couple pillows and her wing bot vibrator was literally just sitting on the bed like under her pillows it was like crazy. what is the point of living my day if i don't get to celebrate life at the end of it exactly create life and some may say that is an addiction some may say i'm, I'm a, a dreamer. dreamer barbaric is me thinking that it's cute that i wake up every morning and go have a cigarette with my coffee well that's funny that you said that because i have pocket pussy written down <laughs> as barbaric that is barbaric look at that thing okay, look that at it in the vagina that, eye. like it's that scary is much more barbaric than a wing bot. A wing bot is like a miscellaneous shape. Like a vibrator is a miscellaneous shape, whatever, for the most part. But a pocket pussy? Bitch, can you get a grip on reality? Like that is I can get a grip on my penis with this vagina pocket pussy. Um, but Don't no. lie. You do not get the vagina ones. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what heck? Um, and then I have a funerals um, are... Barbaric? Barbaric. I actually do think they are they're so fucking expensive yeah. they're big fucking scams and ruses and then we embalm these bodies with like really really toxic chemicals and then bury them in the ground so they just melt into our waste like our runoff water and then we just end up drinking dead body juices like literally just burn the body and move on or bury the body and plant a tree on top there's of it there's a like, really good cute. episode of midnight gospel that talks about how funeral culture started and it was like during wars that people's family members would go out to war and die during war obviously all these families would be devastated the last time they saw their loved one was who knows when they really wanted to be able to see them at least one last time also it was during the era of like you don't have videos super accessible videos and pictures of them why didn't they like just that. invent it Obviously, these families were devastated. They wanted to see the body. And then these two guys came up with the idea of embalming bodies and traveling them back to the families, mm. and which became a huge industry. And then that became, that's where the idea that b- dead bodies were super radioactive and like harmful and toxic to be around. It stemmed from that because people wanted you to immediately like start up the funeral service and get a body embalmed when uh, in so the olden days what people money. used to do is when someone would pass like from fucking scarlet fever and illness or something in their bed they would usually just like keep the body there for like a day or like however long and like let the family kind of sit with the body and just be like wow like and like mourn within that time period and then you would have the body transported to be buried so it was something. literally just like morticians being like 
no, you have to give it to me now so you can pay me later. Like, yeah, no, it's literally yeah. like, oh, but we want, like, we want to spruce it up for you. And I'm sure a lot of people do like enjoy the idea of a funeral, but yeah, why am I here and why is my family drunk? Literally, why is my family partying at the funeral? And then I got uh, meat why did I bring consumption? my espresso machine to my mom's funeral? Keep going. Um, I got um, uh, meat consumption on there. Girl, that shit's weird. Like, it tastes good as fuck, and I get it, but, like, bruh, like, grow the meat. Yeah, that's how I felt yesterday about the salami that we were eating, um, because it was sitting out long enough that it started sweating, and I was like, this is so abnormal. Like, this Look was at really it. Mo- a moving creature. But that Look shit tastes it good as fuck. in the eye. It is literally, like, red with blood and that's muscles. Why I will mm-hmm. say, like, steak, like, a mm-hmm. steak... A steak like, freaks me out. Trust me, I fucked up a good steak in my life and in my time. I grew up in Texas, but like, bro, like all the blood and the juices and every time they're like, it's not blood, it's blah, 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 blah. Girl, I don't give a fuck. It's red and coming out of meat. Like, it's That nasty. is blood. What else would it be? There's like this, like other shit, they call it. I don't know what it's fucking called. And they get mad at me for any Y'all are listening it. to what the people, like, the people are trying to tell you that is blood. Exactly. Listen to us. We would know. Exactly. Um, prison I've been time. looking at y'all the whole time this episode. Keep going. I got prison time for victimless crimes. Girl, let the people smoke and do their drugs. Like, we don't need to flood the prisons with people. Um, period. Yeah, it is super barbaric. Um, that is literally super barbaric. That is like the like definition of animalistic. You like know what? At the beginning of time when someone did something bad, we were like, we're going to put you in a fucking cage. And then they were like, we should make this cage into a multi-million dollar An business. industrial. Dude, that's what I was just about to say. I like paused and I was like, oh my God, all of these are driven by what? Money. Capitalism. Let's go. Um, okay. And then these two are like kind of more serious. Um, but clean drinking water. Um, us having clean drinking water is going to be barbaric because, like, uh, it's going to be polluted because we don't know how to um, handle nice things. And then having grass in your front yard is going to be very barbaric because the sun's going to burn a hole in the ozone layer and we're not going to have grass or water. Oh, okay. So barbaric in the way that, like, people are going to look back and be like, dude, I can't believe they even had that. I, it, I was just joking. Uh, like, I was saying, like, girl, climate change, hello. Yeah, we're done for sure. Um, There's, like, literally nothing we could do. That's also why I don't want have want to have kids. They're gonna melt. Oh, have you ever heard of the flute of stra- uh, the flute of shame? No. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, so it's this like metal casted thing that like is cast around your neck and on your arms. So you're if you're like making really bad public disturbances or like playing music publicly, this they'll can't tie be real. this. They'll make this thing that like goes around your neck and your arms and you just have to carry it around all day. And we need to bring that back because some of you bitches are making terrible music. Um, I do agree. Hold on, let me show you it. Thought he was gonna be the one, be the one for me, but he ended up loving alcohol more, more than, than this pussy. pussy. That is fucking fire. Yeah, bring it back. Someone's gotta put their Girl, no, in that. Girl, no, we're gonna be the ones with the flute of shame around our fucking necks <laughs> with know. us screaming in public and shit. And you um, will never stop me from being shameful in public because it's literally the best pastime. time. <clears throat> oh my God. I ate leftover Joe and the Juice as my first thing. It was like a leftover spicy tuna and then I had a coffee and a cigarette. So my insides probably smell like embalming fluid. Yo, Joe and the Juice is... The spicy tuna sandwich is the greatest thing you can put into your body as sustenance. I'm like, ew, eating meat is going to be so barbaric in the future. Fish is different, like, though. Like, seafood to me doesn't feel as barbaric for some reason. Like, does yeah, that make sense? Exactly. Also, like, it feels cleaner, even though I'm sure the ocean. But no, to me, the ocean is clean. Even though, like, mm-hmm. I think it's really polluted. Yeah. Also, the big ass nets that they drag along the bottom of the ocean and just destroy all the coral reefs. It's like the saddest and just scar the earth because they want to collect fucking shrimps or some shit. Like, bro, just. I'm going to eat that shrimp, though. Grow it in the fucking aquaponics chamber or something. Um, okay. I have an experiment. Try it out at home. I want you to think about something you don't like about yourself. Are you thinking about something you don't like about yourself? I, like, yourself? can't think off the top of my head. Okay, that's the whole thing. It's just, like, think about something you don't like about it with yourself and just ruminate with it. 
that's the experiment mm. what you just like sent us all on like a self-loathing path exactly i want you to be like depressed actually think about this when he asked that how fast did you answer and if you didn't answer immediately maybe you do like yourself and you should stop being so hard on yourself because oh, that's wow. what that taught me i'm not even kidding that's what that taught me because then i was See? like I was like, the first thing I thought of is I do genuinely, I think this is a problem more for my own safety though, is I am too open and vulnerable of a person. If somebody asks me something, I will fully answer it honestly. Or if I'm feeling something and going through something, I will tell everybody my business and I actually do think that's a problem because nobody needs to know my business the way they fucking do. Dude, that it is so crazy. Like we'll meet <laughs> someone and we'll be hanging out with them for like two weeks and Inya will tell them her entire life story. Yeah. There are certain things I absolutely won't say and I literally have a list of that certain thing and I have a <laughs> list of the people I've told because I'm actually neurotic. super crazy and neurotic about it. But like, yeah, I'll tell them all my business. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll be like, yeah, like the house got broken into and Tom got hit by a car and then I broke my ankles. <laughs> and like, I literally will go on a whole thing. I'm, um, I'm pretty similar to. Should I flash my coochie the way I did in the last episode? Eight million times, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, one, the one you probably me. love yourself. But he ended up loving alcohol more than this pussy. But now we can get into media. That's my media is that BB Rexa song. <laughs> okay, my movie is Carol. Um, I need to watch that. Y'all, that shit was earth shattering. Like, call me by your name level of just like, bruh, like, ugh, like made me so fucking sick to my goddamn stomach. I wanted to like vomit all over the airplane. Like, so fucked up. Please watch it. There's like a couple quotes. Um, I like this one from it. You're a strange one, aren't you? Flung from space. And the context makes it better. And then her on the phone saying, ask me things. Like, ooh, come on. And then my media. Oh, those uh, are quotes. I was like, bitch, what song is that? Uh, my, my song is uh, Teddy Wilson, Blue Holiday. Um, and then I've been in like listening to like the worst rap you've ever heard um challenge like that's like the game i've been playing and i really like op pack by zulu shopping spree by 10k um and then this song isn't rap but it's wicked game by chris isaac it's really cool it's like that oh yeah um and then interface by scars s s g a r z um and this is the type of music that I make. And so I, it's cool to see someone else doing it too. Um, well, uh, mine is the most insane mix of genres and vibes ever. Same. Um, Honey, Won't You Call Me by Hank Williams. Um, Smile Please by Dean Blunt. Circles by Atlantic Star. You've Changed by Keisha Cole. I Love Your Girl by The Dream. If you grew up listening to that song, please listen to it again because I hadn't heard it in so long. And then is that what we were listening to in the car? Yeah, and uh, she's uh, he's, radio killer beat up the track. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I love your girl, your mom's a okay. And cherry pie by Sade. And will I see you again? The sacred souls, which I thought was an old song because I'm a cunt and I only like music that is sounds old if it is old and it's a newer song but it's so fucking good and now i'm like damn i need to listen to the rest of their music so i can see them live and i should stop being a fucking hater and putting a timestamp on music because like that doesn't make me any better than anybody else and i'm just like keeping myself from enjoying something that a lot of people get to enjoy and then one day when i'm older it will be old and i'll be able to be like wow i remember when that came out blah blah blah, blah, blah. but i'm just like this actually awful person but it's mainly to myself like i just hold myself out from so many joys because i'm so scared of being perceived as somebody who is a loser but i'm literally not i'm so fucking vibes and then the last one is infinity recording by daft punk and then i'm trying to think of what movie i watched oh i watched bones and all and i've never laughed harder at an ending of a movie in my life and it was so enjoyable for that and thank you so much and it was a like i liked the movie but the ending actually made me want to throw up from laughing so hard nice and i saw oppenheimer obviously literally everyone in the world saw oppenheimer i haven't seen barbie Hello. yet because i'm a straight man and there aren't boobs that's in barbie. what i was gonna say there's no pussy in barbie so i'm not saying it um there's no male genitalia i want to see some dick and balls no there's none of it in oppenheimer there is i'm not I kidding don't wanna, I there's actually don't a full 15 minute no. sex scene with butthole actually i'm not kidding that's my ick is seeing a man's ass like From it behind. is disgusting like seeing ew, his little ew, balls ew, hanging ew, down ew, and you ew, see his butt ew, between oh his legs oh my god it is so nasty it's like, really cringe 
male anatomy is really fucking gross. Yeah. Like, whoa. And it's like stinky. Um. Okay. Ew, dude. And it's so gross. Should I do a Drew Psyop oh. corner to end off this episode? Yeah. Welcome to Drew Psyop Corner. Okay. Um, don't leave your pills around me because I'm gonna be Googling <laughs> them to see what you got going on. <laughs> when you posted that, I was like, dude, I do the same thing every time without fail when I'm at my parents' house. They always have some new fucking medication. And I look at it, I'm like... I'm like, bruh, why do you got fucking I'm gonna uh, be this. antibiotics? You got an STD or something? Or is this like a painkiller that I I'm need gonna, to take? Um, I realize antibiotics get me a little high, so I'm going to start giving myself um, BV more often. Oh. So I can mix my antibiotics with alcohol because then I get really fucked oh, up. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. You're going to commit or you're going to create like an antibiotic <laughs> resistant <laughs> fucking bacterial Virus. vaginosis. Um, some of y'all's WAPs got a pH balance that could turn a cucumber into a pickle. Oh. <laughs> uh, wow. Um. Um, gay sun or margarita pizza? <laughs> Honestly, margarita pizza. Okay. Um, if, if the day is right. If I'm like high and it's like 73 degrees out and yeah. I have a really good... Oh, if I have a really cold Coke to go with that, I'm picking the pizza. My pronouns are he has risen. <laughs> Wait, what did I say yesterday? My pronouns are, oh, banging yo mama. Yeah, and mine are... Uh, I slash maid slash yo slash mama <laughs> slash squirt slash vagina juice <laughs> slash all over the walls slash period. Um, and then the last one is condoms be having the pussy smelling like rain boots. <laughs> oh, also four times three I being 12 is a classic. I used the condom maybe 10 times in my life. That maybe. is so fucked up. That is maybe. literally so fucked up. I'm like, that's so fucked up. <laughs> Says the slut. So to fucking slag. Bring back manly men. I've been saying like what the crap and what the hell seriously. What the hell? And it's not okay. We do this all the time. We start saying something ironically and then I'm actually like, what, what the, the hell? What the crap? You're a weird motherfucker. And you better call Carl Bismarck. And you better not be a snitch or I'll tell fucking Carl Bismarck. <laughs> I sound really motherfucker. good. Motherfucker. Um, what's the other one? Um... Orion was complimenting me. I'm probably not going to do it right this time, but she was complimenting me on my impersonation of like, you better stop. Stop. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> you uh, better stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh my god, see you guys, you have to see how she really treats you. She doesn't fucking care about you. She doesn't even fucking care about me. So you think she would fucking care about you. But look, she's just over there I eating finally, her fucking vitamin I, C. I finally caved into the TikTok shop. Fuck you, bastard bitch. <laughs> You're all lying and you're being scammed and uh, the TikTok shop is insane and a finesse and a scam. And don't buy off of it. Exactly. Unless, unless I put something on. Yeah, unless I get paid to do an ad. <laughs>